What's going on everybody? It's Mike with Actuonics. And today I'm going to show you how to use an S-series linear actuator with RC. If you're familiar with our products, you may already know that our L12 and L16s are offered as an R-series. And that one comes with a standard RC plug. And it's plug and play with most RC receivers. For most projects, that's going to be the way you want to go. But if you need a lot more power, or if you want a track actuator, you'll need to use a P16 or a T16 S series. This is a T16 S here. And it's pretty simple to do. I'll show you how. So this is our RC receiver. We've got our standard RC 3-pin plug running into this guy here, which is a brush reversible speed controller. That outputs 12 volts to the actuator here and drives it. Now where this gets a little bit tricky is this is a 12 volt actuator and this is a 5 volt RC receiver. Now it'll run on 6 volts, so what I've got is a 6 volt DC power supply powering the receiver and a 12 volt DC power supply powering the motor controller. So you need two different power sources at 6 and 12 volts, which makes it a little more complicated, but you can use two different batteries or two different power supplies like I've got set up here. And as you can see, once you've got it all set up, it runs more or less the same as an R-Series linear servo. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.